Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I have this story and it's coming from Outrageous Ass Ohio. This is one of those stories where I don't know if I should be, you know, impressed, sad. I don't know what to feel with this story, but it's funny and it's crazy, okay? So what's going down is that basically in um, East Palestine, Ohio, we have an eight-year-old boy. And so him and his sister, they had dinner. The mother fed them. The father went to go, you know, go to bed early. The mom ended up falling asleep on the couch. And the boy had been watching YouTube videos on how to drive. And so him and his little sister decided they wanted some cheeseburgers from McDonald's because I guess they were just, you know, hungry. Because after all, McDonald's is damn addicting, okay? So the little boy decided to sit and watch YouTube videos for about an hour teaching him what to do once he got into a car so he ends up taking his father's work van he takes the keys off the counter and then him and his four-year-old sister get in the car she's riding shotgun they end up driving all the way from their home to mcdonald's i'm going to read you guys this article this entire situation is crazy okay so they're saying that the boy got to McDonald's without hitting anyone or anything. The boy took money from his piggy bank to finance his fast food adventure. He lifted the vehicle's keys after the father went to bed early and his mother nodded on the couch. The police received two calls from pedestrians saying that a little boy was driving a big van. The officers arrived at McDonald's around 8 p.m. Sunday just as the boy was pulling up to the drive through He said him and his sister looked up how to drive on YouTube. They waited until their mom fell asleep and then they grabbed the keys. They drove a mile to Mickey D's. They stopped at four intersections along the way. They already had dinner, but the boy told the police, me and my sister really wanted a cheeseburger. <laughs> The boy was able to reach the pedals by standing while driving. The police officer was stunned that such a little boy was able to handle a large vehicle. This was a one-ton work van. The thing is huge. A customer at the restaurant recognized the children and called their grandparents. The police called their parents and all of the relatives hurried to the restaurant. I'm not sure if there's any words to accurately describe their actions, said the police officer. Employees initially thought it was a prank when the kids pulled up. They thought their parents were in the back seat and it was a joke. The little boy certainly didn't think it was funny when the cop showed up because he burst into tears and he was just surprised at how badly he had messed up. He started crying when he realized that he had done something wrong. Um, he didn't get into any trouble with the law. No charges are going to be filed, but the police were definitely impressed with his driving skills. I was expecting to get a call about mailboxes being knocked over, but he didn't hit a single thing. Remember getting your driver's license? Age 16, right? Your parents suggested starting slow. An East Palestine kid couldn't wait that long. It would have been double his life. He had to make this munchie run before bedtime. Patrolman Jake Kohler got a call on the radio Sunday night of a kid driving a vehicle. He pulled into the town's only McDonald's and talked with an eight-year-old boy still behind the wheel. You know, what are you doing? And he said, uh, me and my sister really wanted a cheeseburger. The boy had stood on his tiptoes to get the keys and took his four-year-old sister with him on the food run. Patrolman Kohler still had some questions. So then I asked him how he learned how to drive, and he said he looked up YouTube videos on how to drive. The child started on East Martin Street, made one right turn, and went through four intersections. He didn't hit a thing, even obeyed every traffic signal, stopping for red lights and waiting until they turned green. The entire route was a mile and a half. Seeing the Golden Arts sign, you could just sense the kid's excitement, but there was one more step he still had to go through. Two cheeseburgers, please. The kid was ready for his prize and eager to take off that familiar yellow wrapper, which would uncover a cheeseburger. And whenever he pulled up to the first window, uh, the employees actually thought that they were being pranked. The parents were not in the back of the van. They were at home. The vehicle was surrounded by adults in the McDonald's parking lot, and the boy was crying when Patrolman Kohler started talking to him, realizing he might be in trouble. It's kind of funny on one hand, but being a parent, it'd be kind of scary to know that your eight-year-old son went down through the middle of town and took his four-year-old sister in your van. But for him to go out and like uh, drive and not break any of the traffic laws and actually obey them, I mean, hey, I'll give him credit with that, especially from learning it from a YouTube video. That's something else. Patrolman Kohler is back on the beat, but he knows this call will be tough to beat. Honest to God, I I've only been a patrolman or a police officer for two years, but I don't think I'll have anything like this the rest of my career. The kids got their cheeseburgers, also fries and chicken nuggets, before Patrolman Kohler took them to the police station and waited for their parents to pick them up. 
The boy may get in trouble at home, but police are not filing any charges. So when I tell you, this is one of them stories that's, you know, it's funny. It, it's scary because, you know, we all know what could have happened to those kids. But it's also funny as well. And obviously God was looking behind those children because they didn't hit anything. They didn't hit anybody. You know, and it's funny that an eight-year-old child can literally watch a YouTube video for an hour and retain all this information and know exactly what to do. And the fact that he had the route from his house to McDonald's memorized, it says that they must go to McDonald's a lot, okay? So he has the route memorized. He's able to get there and he drove the whole time standing up. I just find the whole situation just funny. The boy is a genius. If he was able to drive like that for the first time based off of a video instruction, I mean, he's obviously a genius because most people pay to learn how to drive. And he was able to teach himself to drive for the first time simply based off of watching a YouTube video. I find this pretty incredible. It seems like the little boy can drive better than half the people in LA. I'll, I'll say that for a fact. And my thing is this, since he's such a good driver, I would definitely put his little butt to work and I would make him an Uber driver. Cause obviously he knows how to drive and he understands the rules of the road better than most adults. So this whole situation is a hot damn mess. Anyway, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire outrageous situation. Once again, coming from Outrageous Ass Ohio about the eight year old boy who decided to go driving to McDonald's with his little sister in the car because they wanted a cheeseburger. Do you feel like he should be punished? What do you feel should happen to him? Or do you feel like the parents should be proud that he made it there without a single scratch on him or his sister? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.